Hey everyone, I am here today to do the audiobook tag. I was tagged by Jen from Today in Jen's Library, who is also the creator of the tag. I'm going to link her original video down below. So you need to check her out. You need to just love Jen as much as I do. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rest until everyone's subscribed to Jen because she is amazing, incredible. I have just waxed poetic about Jen for 22 seconds now, so I think I should probably get on with the questions. As a lot of you probably know, I am an e-reader for the most part, but I do listen to audiobooks. I'm a mum, I'm a busy mum, um, I have two kids who demand my attention a lot of the day and then when they're not demanding my attention they're making messes for me to clean up. So I, I do that. I also have to cook and you know everything else. But that's completely beside the point. Woe is me. Let's get on with these questions. I do listen to audiobooks, not as much as I should, but I really want to listen to more and I haven't even read any of these questions. I'm just winging it because I know that Jen's gonna love it when I improvise. <laughs> so this is all for you, baby. Name a book that was better on audio. This one is a no brainer. I'm currently reading the manga of it as well because I really love this series so much. But it was Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. So this is the manga, and the manga's like gorgeous. Okay, but I'm not talking about the manga, I'm talking about the audiobook. Focus, Michaela. I read, listened, well, it is reading, it's reading in a different format. Um, the audiobook of Full Darkness. Now, I know a lot of people with the Caster Chronicles, it is a slow series. It's from Ethan's point of view, he is the main male character. The book for this was freaking amazing. I read the first book with my eyes um, and there is a song that follows them throughout and they do this thing it's like Kelting where they talk to each other in their heads and this song sort of follows them and plays and mysteriously appears on their iPods and things like that but during the audiobook the song actually plays and it's just like this really haunting amazing melody and because they live in the south and they deal with what is my hair doing times there is storms and it's just gorgeous like it just is so beautiful i love the caster chronicles audiobooks i highly recommend them so if you can ever get your hands on them check them out and it's just great to give that series another chance if you didn't necessarily like it at first name a book that was worse in audio so you had to switch to print um um uh... Actually, I have the perfect answer for this one, okay? So I listened to a sample of Isla and the Happily Ever After. If you've been here for a while, favourite book. I don't know why, it's my favourite book. I just love it so much. I just feel so deeply connected to the characters, even though I have nothing in common with either of them. I mean, like, Josh is, like, super, like, withdrawn and sort of, you know, going through some shit. And I'm just, like, bubbly and crazy from the get-go. And Isla is really shy and withdrawn, obviously. I'm not, like, I'm just in your face 24-7. But listening to the audio of that, I can understand why if someone read a, pop if someone read a popular book in that format and... It just doesn't translate that well like it just it wasn't great narration like I just didn't like the Isla narration at all I felt that it was not Isla to me top female narrator and top male narrator I'm gonna say my top female narrator is um I'm just gonna write them down below their names because I am shocking with narrator names what is the longest book you've ever listened to during my pregnancy with Theo, I was really, really sick. I had a lot of problems with my blood pressure. This is just turning into a Dr. Phil sesh, by the way. Um, so I was in bed a lot. And that was hard when you have a two-year-old because winter was two at the time. So I listened to audiobooks all the time. And I listened to Cress by Marissa Meyer. And that book just did not fucking end. That book was like 20-something hours, like... 24 maybe 28 hours like it was a crazy long audiobook good narrator though I did like her she was Jennifer maybe something like that but yeah that was obviously the answer to my previous question how good am I when I don't look at the questions that I'm going to answer seriously this is just this is a treat to you all question six how do you listen to audiobooks iPod mp3 or phone what kind of earbuds do you like I have a one of the new iPhone 7 pluses so I've got to use like the ones with the jack but I mean I just listen to that like that if my daughter's at school and Theo is down for a nap I'll just put it on my um phone and like just let it <laughs> call out to the cosmos question seven should authors narrate their own books um you know how you see authors sometimes in interviews and I think that a lot of authors are really 
introverted people like because they create these worlds and they know them better than anyone but I think that when they give direction to a voice actor the author's vision of things isn't necessarily what they've written but I think that it would be good for the author to consult with people so that they can kind of get the idea of that and get the vision. Is there an audiobook you wish could be redone by what narrate? This is a bit of a picky answer, but I listened to when I was really sick in bed the Vampire Academy series again, and I think that it's the first or the second book they switched narrators. Like my library had a copy which it was a different narrator at the beginning in the first or second book and then they swapped. So it was like they would pronounce words differently. Just little things like that, that sort of annoyed me. So I guess I am just being a little bit picky with that one, but yeah. Um, probably just that one and maybe obviously Isla maybe obviously obviously Isla because I think that more people should listen to that in every single way possible and I think that it's just like oh I love that book. Question 9 best audiobook you've listened to or your favorite? Gemina. Gemina's audiobook is like off the chain sick as well it does the same thing as the Caster Chronicles and if you've read Gemini there's this pop song that <laughs> is like it's a virus that's been put into the computer system so there like it plays throughout the thing. Question 10 what's the most recent book you listened to? I actually hired Harry Potter from my library um, on an app on my phone and I have sort of just been playing little clips to my daughter I mean she's only four at the moment. So what is the book that is currently not on audio that you wish was. Air Awakens series, I'm not gonna ever stop talking about Air Awakens ever. I love it so much and um, it should definitely be on audio because everyone, everyone should listen to it, touch it, hear it, should just be a part of you, man. I'm just this close, this close to getting Air Awakens tattooed across my forehead. There it is, guys, the audio book tag. I loved it. I <laughs> crazy. I hope that you liked this video. Um, thumbs up for more improvisation, not knowing what on earth I'm talking about. Um, trying to look educated in all things audiobooks and definitely check out Jen's video. It will be linked down below, like I said before. If you are new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber, so hit the subscribe button. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Lots of love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah! Bye.